narrative perspective or author's point of view. So we have dialogue and we have narration. Dialogue is when characters speak and narration is when the narrator speaks. When we have anything in quotation marks that separates the narration from the dialogue. That means things in quotes are when characters are talking or things that characters have said. For example, help, my cousin Jack said. Help is what Jack said. And the narr narrator with our narration has said or told us who said what was in quotes. Identifying narrative perspective is about the narrator who tells the story. That's why it says narrative perspective, narrator. That means we are not looking for dialogue. So that means we are not looking for what the characters say. We don't care what the narrators, characters say if we're looking for narrative perspective. Only the narrator's voice matters. So let's talk about some pronoun, pronoun cakes. We are trying to figure out the narrator's viewpoint on the story. Perspectives and signal, signal words. Different point of views are first person, second person, and third person. Some signal words, which are pronouns, are here. If it's first person, that means it's about yourself. So your pronouns would be I, me, my, mine, we, us, or ours. If it's second person, that means that you are talking to someone. So that would be pronouns like you or your. And our last one, third person, is whenever you're talking to someone about someone else. So your pronouns that you would use would be he, she, her, they, or them. Or also you could, they could say other characters' names. Secret. I am in the room. I is our pronoun, so that means that's first person. You come in the room. You is our pronoun, so it's second person. Then he or she came in the room. He or she is our pronouns, and those equal third person. First person. That means the narrator is a part of the story. That means the narrator is in the story as a character. Often uses I or we. Example, I went home, Tim came over, I couldn't play. Second person is usually used for instructions. It uses you from your perspective. An example would be first gather your materials, add one cup sugar to flour. Third person, the narrator usually isn't involved within the story. It tells others stories instead. It uses lots of he, she, and character names. There are three types of third person narration. Does the narrator tell thoughts and feelings of characters is a question that we should ask ourselves. So one of the three third person point of views is third person omniscient. The narrator is all knowing. That means that the narrator tells thoughts and feelings of more than one character. If we broke down the word omniscient, omni equals all and sent equals knowing. So that's where we get the definition all knowing. For example, Tim was mad at Shay. He blamed her. Shay knew Tim would be mad, but she wanted to live her life. So we have Tim's thoughts and feelings and we have Shay's thoughts and feelings told by the narrator. Can you have information, please, buzz the office. Can you have information, please, buzz the office. 
the next one is third person limited. That means that the narrator is limited to only one character's thoughts and feelings. So they tell thoughts and feelings of only one character. For example, Tim was mad at Shay. He blamed her. Shay just left without saying anything. She left a note and then left him. So the narrator tells us how Tim was feeling and what he was thinking, but we don't know what Shay was feeling or what she was thinking. We just know what she did. The last one is third person objective. The narrator does not reveal any character's thoughts or feelings. Only characters, dialogue, and actions are narrated. For example, Tim slammed the door, he walked upstairs and read a note from Shay. He kicked her trash can and started crying. So we don't know either Tim nor Shay's thoughts or feelings. We just know their actions. That's third person objective. So some tips on identifying these things. Check first or second person before worrying about third person objective limited or omniscient. Then ask who's the sto who's the story is the narrator telling? Is it are they telling his story, my story, or someone else's? Then focus on the narration, not the dialogue. Remember, narration is what the narrator is telling us. Dialogue is what the characters have said and are often found in quotes. So some practice. You're going to read the following passages and determine the narrator's perspective. Write down your answer. One. When I was four months old, my mother died suddenly, and my father was left to look after me all by himself. I had no brothers or sisters. So through boyhood, from the age of four months onward, there was just two, my father and me. We lived in an old gypsy caravan behind a filling station. So the pronouns that we have used or that has been used is I, my, I, us, my, me. So if we're using those signal words to help us figure out our answer, and we look back at our chart, those pronouns are used in first person. So our answer is first person. Number two, the huge man dropped his blankets and flung himself down and drank from the surface of the green pool. The man, the small man stepped behind him. Lenny, he said sharply. Lenny, for God's sake, don't drink so much. Lenny continued to snort into the pool. The small man leaned over and shook him by the shoulder. Lenny, you're going to be sick like you was last night. Lenny dipped his whole head under hat, under hat and all. That's good, he said. You drink some, George. He smiled happily. Okay, so some of our signal words. We have his. We have he. Him, his, he. So again, if we look at our chart, those signal words, which are pronouns, go with third person. Now we need to figure out which kind of third person is being used. So. We have omniscient, objective, and limited. Now, if we're looking at this, are we given the thoughts or actions? Are we given the thoughts or feelings of any characters? No. So, 
it can't be omniscient because that means omniscient would mean that we know all of the characters thoughts or many of the characters thoughts and feelings so it is not third person omniscient we don't even know one person's thoughts and feelings which is what limited means so it cannot be limited the only one we're left with is third person objective which tells us no thoughts or feelings of any characters. It just tells us their dialogue, which is what they are saying, and their actions. So our answer is third person objective. All right, foresight and relationships. The previous night, make your plans for the next day and write them down. If you attend an exclusive Samurai's party and feel timid, you cannot do your part in making it a successful party. You had first better prepare by convincing yourself that you will have a grand time and you should feel grateful for the invitation. So let's look at our pronouns. We have your, you, 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 you. So if we look at our chart, those pronouns give us the signal words for second person. Our answer is second person. Okay, you're gonna do four and five by yourself. Number four, Harold Davis took a deep breath and slowly started to peel the gauze from the wound on his grandmother's leg. Hold on, Grandma, I'm almost done, he said quietly. Don't worry, baby, it doesn't hurt too much. She quietly replied, just take your time. Harold glanced up at his grandmother lying on the couch. He could tell she was in pain from the way she gripped the cushions, but still she managed to smile back at him. So first, check your pronouns. Now decide if it's first person, second person, or third person. And then from there, if it's first person, you have your answer. If it's second person, you have your answer. If it's third person, you need to decide is it objective, limited, or omniscient? Last one, number five. They were standing under a tree, each with an arm around the other's neck, and Alice knew which was which in a moment, because one of them said, dumb, embroidered on his collar, or had dumb embroidered on his collar, and the other, the, I suppose they've, they've each got Tweedledee round at the back of the collar, she said to herself. They stood so still that she quite forgot they were alive, and she was just looking round to see if the word Tweedled was written at the back of each collar, when she was startled by a voice coming from one marked dumb. Try and figure out your answer. All right. Now check your answers. Again, number one was first person, two, third person objective, three, second person, four, third person limited, and five, third person limited.